It's been one year since a quiet Sunday evening turned to chaos in Toronto's Greek town community when a shooting rampage began. Bullets fired into shops and restaurants all along the Danforth, sending many running for their lives. Two young lives cut short. 18 year old Reese Fallon and 10 year old Juliana Kozis gone. The gunman died due to a self inflicted gunshot to the head. And the mass casualty also saw over a dozen people injured. It's just an unimaginable loss that friends, families, and the city at large continue to grapple with. Good evening. On the eve of July 22nd, that's the day that evil struck the Danforth all up and down, including where I'm standing back in 2018. Many come together to hold a memorial to remember the shooting rampage and how it changed the city. It gets harder every day, so. July 22nd represents a dark day for 15 year old Quinn Fallon. It's a Sunday she remembers vividly. Every like day I'll wake up and like hope that it's like a nightmare and then I just realize that she's gone. Her 18 year old sister killed in that rampage, bringing unbearable grief to her family. I'm very difficult to talk about. I can understand. But it's nice to see how loved they are. On the eve of the one year anniversary, hundreds fill inside Withrow Park, where the names of victims, both killed and injured, were read out loud. People whose entire lives were forever changed that night. Reese Fallon, age 18. Juliana Kozes, age 10. It's during these hardest times many turn to faith. And on the night back in 2018, Pastor Wendell Gibbs was called to Sick Kids Hospital to be with the family of a 10 year old who was killed. Her name was Juliana. I remember chaos. I remember the uncertainty of what could also happen. And just the solemn faces that I observed uh, when I was here of people in doubt and in shock as to how could this actually happen to our humanity. That night also saw a community rise and a city unite. People coming together a year later is so important. Every family knows a year is the most important date, but also the hardest date. And all together, they stood Danforth strong. It shows so much love for our two little girls. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry to talk to you. It's still wrong. Today's memorial also included two trees planted in memory of Reese and Juliana. I'm not going to get to see her graduate from McMaster and see what a wonderful nurse she would have been and, you know, just get married, have kids. Healing hasn't been easy, not for the victims who were badly injured and not for the families who lost loved ones. As much as how much anger I feel, like nothing will change what happened that day on the Danforth. So I try not to feel angry, but I replace all my anger with like sadness. But sometimes it is hard to not be angry. And in this a tribute addressed to little Juliana, it reads in part, our society is supposed to be a civilized, safe one, and we failed to protect you. City News is being told that her family is in Markham tonight holding a vigil for the 10-year-old. Now head on City News why some are advocating during this healing process.